good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. Oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> Everybody's a suspect. Hey, Ted, where the hell's Parks, bro? Don't fuck with the Chuck. Welcome to Fright. What are we gonna be talking about today? The greatest horror movie of the 80s. Came out in 1985, directed by Tom Holland. Stars William Ragsdale, Chris Sarandon, and Roddy McDowell. And whatever Darcy's name is from Married with Children, I don't know her name. It's such a well-crafted, great story, great practical effects, fun. It just it's got everything you can ask for in this movie. It's based on Charlie Brewster, who's played by William Ragsdale. His best friend, Stephen Jeffries, forgot him. His name's Ed. They call him Evil Ed in the movie. He's just like a prankster dork, you know what I mean? His girlfriend's name is Amy, and they just go about their normal lives. He comes home from school one day, and he's got a new neighbor. His name's Jerry Dandridge, who's a vampire. He stays up late one night, and he falls asleep, and then he hears a woman scream. It's coming from Jerry's house. And he wakes up and like looks and everything and he kinda sees like the long fingers. He like kinda starts like spying on him and pretty much connects the dots that he's a vampire. Well he starts going around town, telling the cops, telling his friends, telling his family. Obviously no one's gonna believe him. He goes and sees Peter Vincent, who is a TV star, but he's the vampire killer. He tries to convince him that his neighbor's a vampire. And even Peter Vincent knows it's full of shit. They end up paying him to just like humor me. You know what I mean? Like I'll give you money, just humor me. Come check out, see for yourself. It turns out he actually is a vampire and scares the living shit out of Peter Vincent. They end up teaming up and long story short, they end up taking on Jerry and defeating him. Uh, dude, there's so much I can talk about in this movie. It's so fucking good. The practical effects in the movie, superb. From being a werewolf to uh, Jerry Dandridge's assistant, Billy Cole. You see when he gets turned, he's like all slimy and decaying. And it just, it's so fucking cool. Like, man, I wish there was no CGI. This is all practical nowadays. Cause like that shit just ruins movies. And they don't make them like they used to at all. That's why. The golden age of horror movies is the 80s. There's just no getting around it. Out of 10, if I could go past it, I would. It's so fucking good. It's got the coolest artwork. It's the house with clouds above it, which makes Amy's face when she gets bit. She's under his control. She's turning into a vampire. Evil Ed gets turned into a vampire. He turns into a werewolf, which is fucking sweet. A lot of memorable moments. I mean, you ask anyone what their best, what their favorite vampire movie is, nine out of 10 times they're gonna say Fright Night. It, it's such a original, simple, yet effective story. And I, I'm glad that we don't really have a backstory on Jerry Dandridge, because personally, I don't think everything needs a backstory, but I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Up until 1985 when the movie came out, sure, there's hundreds of different variations of vampires and lores and all that fun jazz. But just the simple fact of like Boy Who Cried Wolf. He's going around town telling everyone, warning everyone, no one believes him. Rightfully so, because if someone fucking came up to me, like, your neighbor's a vampire, really. Like I said, it's the greatest horror movie of the 80s. And if you disagree, please, let's talk about it. Let me know what some of your favorite horror movies are. We can go from there, we can talk. Maybe you can see views that I don't see. Maybe I can show you views that I see. Yeah, it's just a quick, these are just gonna be quick reviews. I got quite a bit lined up. The backdrop's gonna be different for quite a bit of them because I'm in the process of moving right now. It's a nightmare. Let me know what your thoughts are on Fright Night. We'll go from there. But until then, see you next time.